Up to 9 o'clock and it's 14 degrees downtown, heading for that high of 17. Absolute blinder today, it's absolutely stunning outside. November the 20th on a Tuesday, I am joined, would you believe? Now, I'm not quite sure if we're still in San Diego, but my goodness, uh, these people are at the beach and what a great idea that is. I would love to go there myself. Going to be joined by Scotty and Roxy right after this. Yes, BM3 is in the house. Can you turn your phone sideways, please, bro? Yeah, I can do that. Nice. I think I can. <laughs> We're live, by the way, everyone. Welcome to my Facebook uh, live post. There we go. Right awesome. Three. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, welcome along, everybody. We're joined by Scotty and Roxy from Black Market 3. As you can see, we kind of dress for the occasion, so, uh, and believe me guys, you get a copy of this, you really, really will. And we, we'll do a photo thing afterwards as well, we'll be able to send to you, so that you can put it on your phone, make sure nobody else ever, ever does interviews with us again, you know what I mean. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, we have the sun goes down playing at the moment, we'll come out of that, uh, have, have a chat about that, because it has been a while. Uh, but people do still request it, and, and it plays on a Tuesday night in the Blue Show. So, um, you know, uh, you have not been forgotten in any way, shape or form. I've got to let you know that. Um, so we'll talk about that. Then we'll talk about Daddy Rolling Stone. Um, really, Roxy? You call him Daddy? First <laughs> 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 yeah, I kind of figured that. Are you from Mac? Okay. Are you from Mac, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, no, I wouldn't be so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. So, um, whereabouts are you at the beach? We're in Cardiff, it's about half hour from our house. Oh, okay. So, uh, just down the road. What a great idea. Yeah. We try to get as much out here as we can. Yeah. But we're not on the road. We're not working. We, uh, we love to come out to the beach. You know, I absolutely understand that. Uh, Barbara passes the ocean every morning when she comes to or goes home from her place yeah. or to work. Uh, so, believe me, I, I envy Barbara, but she won't invite me to her place. She's scared I want to ride the sheep. <laughs> hey Barbara. No comment. No comment. Hi hold Ricky on. darling. How hold are on, you? hold on. Let's just have a look see here. Um, guys, look at this. There we go. Hi everybody. There's Barbara oh, yes, I'm dressed for the Barbara. occasion. Yes, and I am. here's our wonderful friends, Black Market 3, at the beach. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Yeah, let's go live.
right, you're right here at Kelsey, 107 FM, we're going all the way over to San Diego, well actually to the beach, just half an hour down the road from home, and joining Black Market 3. Good morning, good afternoon of the absolutely stunning day by the looks of it, nice to have you along Scotty and Roxy from Black Market 3, how are you? Doing great, how are you? Oh, look, I am absolutely elated to be able to catch up with you guys again. I think the last time we spoke, you were in the same place. We definitely were. I the, the exact same spot. What? <laughs> you, you know, I am absolutely envious. We'd love to be there with you guys. Uh, I take it you got the bus? Oh, yeah. We've got the RV. The RV, right. Recreational vehicle. Uh, turn it up, she goes. Okay. And we're, having, and we're having a couple of cold ones. Good morning. What a great... It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Nice. Nice. I absolutely agree with you. And, and I encourage that uh, as long as you're not planning on drinking la uh, driving later on. Oh, no, no. We'll be here what probably you... until 10, 10 p.m. What are you, my dad? Yeah, well, no, I'm a, a voice of conscience, to be quite honest. <laughs> I was just talking to my dad. I told him we have friends coming over. We're going to eat Mexican food on the beach, have a few beers. He goes... Don't drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice to be like-minded, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it's not that we don't trust your driving, it's just everybody else on the road. Thank you. Right. Yeah, right. E exactly. You know, if they don't like the way you oh, drive... On... Yeah, well, if they don't like you driving, they should stay off the footpath, right? There you go, absolutely. Now, we just played, and believe me, it has been an absolute age since I've uh, heard the song, I've got to be honest with you, but I know it plays uh, on a Tuesday night, but we just heard uh, When the Sun Goes Down. Now, that, that to me is an old fave, I've got to be honest with you guys. It really, really is. What have you been doing since then? Well, you go ahead. <laughs> well, we, got, we have a new album out, Dashboard Jesus, and... Uh, kind of went in a little bit different direction this time. We went uh, in a little more of a soul and Latin vibe. This is right down here on the border of Mexico. We really incorporate a lot of that sound into this recording. But we also made a decision since this was our, our first record on a bigger label. It's going to get a lot more attention worldwide. We... Uh, updated a couple of the songs from previous records, including When the Sun Goes Down. Okay, uh, and believe me, I, I'm hoping that you guys are going to actually send me some copies of this so that we could uh, do some giveaways and uh, uh, really kick uh, being three back into the uh, into the light again, because believe me, uh, we kind of miss you guys. We miss you too. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, and uh, you know, uh, it's still not off the cards that we would absolutely love you guys to come down here, down under, and play in front of New Zealand audiences. I know we've been talking about it for, what, almost three years now, uh, but we really, really mean it. We just got to buckle down and make it happen. Exactly, exactly, uh, and it basically comes down to sponsorship and bits and pieces like that. A uh, little, little off-the-record kind of uh, discussion. Uh, we're talking to a company called uh, Bristol Records in Canada right now uh, about bringing a show, uh, Rod Black and Hillbilly Vegas, down here, down under. Uh, and you never know, we might be able to uh, 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 cozy up a little more and see if we can expand our repertoire into different bands t being brought down here. Uh, in association with Bristol, I'm sure that... Uh, uh, Brian is open to suggestions, if you know what I mean. Uh, we have been actually wanting to do a huge blues festival here in the Bay of Plenty, and I think this is just a, a brilliant way of breaking into that market with you guys. That would be great. I love that. Brilliant. So, uh, believe me, guys, uh, we have never once thought, uh, you know, we're never going to get you guys here. We are actually uh, always, always looking at ways of being able to do that. We really, really are. Uh, now, at the same time, I, I think this is a good segue, really, to come into um, uh, Daddy Rolling Stone. Now, uh, how did you come by the lyrics to this, and where did the name come from? It kind of feels 
uh, to me because as soon as I read it I thought are you doing a cover of the Rolling Stone you know Daddy was a Rolling Stone or, or is it going to be an original so uh, tell me all about this well the, to be honest man that song was written in the mid 50s by a guy named Otis Blackwell mm -hmm. if you're familiar with Otis Blackwell he wrote a lot of for Elvis uh, you know back in the 50s and um uh, a friend of ours, a guy I was uh, doing some recording for, had brought the song into us, and I knew a version of it by the Blasters. You guys know the Blasters. And uh, after the minute we heard it, we just said we had to record the song. And uh, it was the first one we recorded for the new record. You know, uh, I am absolutely elated that you are using us to be able to uh, release this to our listeners, because believe me, I absolutely love it. Uh, but I've got to let you know, I'm still uh, stuck on the Led Zit stuff you guys have done in the past as well. So, yeah, and believe me, I still play that quite a bit here at Galaxy. So, uh, uh, believe me, uh, BM3 has never forgotten. But let's do this. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM with Black Market 3's new song, Daddy. Rolling Stone. Love this. Hey everyone that's tuned in watching this. Yes, good morning, Brittany. Nice to have you along. Oh, there's a lot of people. A lot of people in the yeah. Nice. And I bet you they're all friends of Black Market 3. Definitely. They really will be. Guaranteed. Absolutely. You know, we're going ballistic right now. We've got over five and a half million people online. Right. Awesome. We really do. Five million five hundred and eighty-nine thousand live streamers right now. So, well, for those of you that are listening and watching, nice, great idea. Wait, Market Three are enjoying a cold one. So, um, what's the next one coming up? I'm sorry, when's the next one? Uh, what's the next track coming up? The next track that we're going to put up? Yeah. Well, then we have one. Oh. Right, you guys only have the one song. Hey. Yes. We, um, have you seen the video that we made for a song called uh, Regress Center? No. Oh, we got to send you the video. Oh, please do. Please do. Yeah, yeah. We shot it uh, at a couple of really beautiful locations in San Diego, but we also went and uh, did, you, did you see the movie Kill Bill? Yes, yep. We, we found the church from Kill Bill and we shot most of the video there. Nice, nice. Yeah, please send it to us. And in fact, we send it to you. Please do, because we, we would love to be able to uh, get back again, have a chat about that as well. Um, and um, as you know, we're moving closer to Christmas right now, so uh, I, I got to wish you the best of the best of, uh, for the forthcoming Christmas season. Uh, got anything planned? Okay. Got, got any gigs on? Yeah, what? Have you got any gigs on over Christmas? We're booked uh, we're we're for 12 till the end of the year, uh, but we're staying just local in San Diego. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Rough the rest of the year. Yeah, fair enough too. Um, because believe me, you guys travel so much. Uh, I I know what you mean. It's always nice to just do something a little light at home. We just had our, our CD release party on Saturday night, and uh, it was a great night with a lot of friends and family and. Um, guest musicians that played with us, and uh, so we're kind of taking it taking it easy this week, and we have
That's right, and you're right here. Wait, 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 wait. And it wasn't supposed to happen. What happened there? <laughs> Somebody ticked a, uh, a box, I presume. Uh, of course, joined by Scotty and Roxy. And uh, Roxy, you were just saying uh, that you had your CD release party over the weekend. I bet you there was a bit of a blast. We had a great time. We had uh, a house full of friends and family and fans. And we had some guest music came and played. The, um, the accordion player that clicked on a song, um, this is the new CD, came out and played with us, and uh, it was uh, just one of us, and just a, a, a beautiful night, magical night. We had a, a dancer who was the girlfriend of um, one of the guest musicians that played with us, danced to a couple of our songs, and You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of jealous, actually, because I would have loved to have been there to be a part of it with you guys, to be very honest with you. Uh, but not forgetting, too, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up very, very shortly. Yep, on Thursday. And another celebration, you know, and you guys just have all the luck, really, don't you? <laughs> we get pretty fat over here. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I absolutely love that idea. We'd love to come over and uh, celebrate with you guys. Uh, and I can obviously see that you're not going to be getting any snow anytime soon. Uh, which, uh, same for us, we, we're not looking at snow. But would you believe that this time of the year, and it's unseasonable for us, down the bottom of the South Island right now has been completely blanketed in snow. So uh, they're making snow angels. Well, we're sitting here enjoying uh, the warmth of the sun around us, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I couldn't think of a better way to do it, to be quite honest, than sitting there at the beach uh, having a couple of suds and, uh, or a cervezas, if you want to put it like that, and uh, just enjoying the day go by. Well, yeah, you know, it's what, uh, almost the end of November, and um, I don't know, it's probably, the degrees would be about maybe 75, the sun's shining, or people at the beach, and it was you know, it's typical San Diego weather. We love it. You love it. He, I love it. He, he take it. You know, I think we live in Alaska. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, you've just sold San Diego. Everybody's going to be moving there now. <laughs> uh, just to park up with you guys. Well, eh? You're already here. You can have my spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and what would you do in Alaska? Would it be a bit of fishing and hunting and stuff like that in the cooler temperatures? sold me, I'm on my way. I won't be too far away, believe me. Find, find me a parking spot, I'll be there. <laughs> uh, I said, find me a parking spot, I'll be right there. Okay, okay. Well, you got it. Nice. I'll have a picture for you. Oh, love it, love it, absolutely. Uh, and maybe a bit of moonshine if you're uh, a partial, I, I don't mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh no, that's all good. That's, it is fine. It is absolutely brilliant that we absolutely skipped over that bit. Uh, now, guys... Uh, <laughs> you know, that's all good. And believe me, uh, it, everybody else understands perfectly fine. Uh, now, guys, uh, I'm really, really elated to be able to catch up with you guys and would love to be able to do it again. Uh, apparently we're going to be uh, discussing some new work uh, according to a video that I'm yet to see and I'm absolutely looking forward to this. Uh, now, but tell me a little bit more about the forthcoming album. Uh, how many tracks are you looking at uh, releasing on that? Uh, there's 11 total. Nice! Yeah, nice! Yeah, so, yeah, like I said, we, uh, we updated a couple of 
couple of songs from uh, a previous record, a couple of the originals, and uh, just really wanted to present them in a great way to a, a wider audience uh, that they've previously been with people. No, I think there's a lot. Well, I, I tell you what, Scotty, I would love to be able to get back to you again uh, and release uh, everything that you are working on at the moment, we are, and we'll go through it systematically uh, at your availability, if that's good with you, because we would love to be able to keep promoting Black Market 3. We appreciate that. That'd be great. Awesome. Yes, please, do that. And, uh, it came out on Friday. It was released on Friday. Awesome, you, you know, it is that good, it really, really is. Uh, so guys, I'm going to have to leave it there, but don't go anywhere just yet, uh, because I, I know Barbara is going to want to do one or two things, uh, including uh, everybody there that's joining us on Facebook Live right now. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we will send you guys a copy of this on YouTube as well, so you'll be able to uh, uh, trash it as much as you like, as often as you like. And at the same time, we'll send you a funny photo that we do to everybody as well. So you can put it on your phones and show everybody, if you ever see these guys, stay away. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, but stay there. We'll be right with you. But in the meantime, 